Hello world and welcome back to another episode of Industrial Foregoing where today, as promised, we're going to be covering everything related to animal farming. The first thing you're going to want when you're farming is going to be able to reproduce your animals very quickly and efficiently and for that you're going to need the animal feeder. This is made with two golden carrots, golden apple, pity machine frame, latex, iron gear and then two purple dyes. Now the animal feeder is very interesting. As you can see, I have a pen full of various different animals and here we have our animal feeder. All you have to do is give it the type of food that the animals need. Obviously for sheep and cows you need wheat and I don't have any in here for uh, pigs because uh, you'll need carrots. I've just got some mechanism uh, pipes going in here. You can obviously have your uh, wheat farm from the previous episode um, to supply all the food you need as well as carrots. So what we have in here is an add-on setup just so we can have a large area for all our animals. So let's turn that off. All I'm using is add on range plus three. And if I turn this on here, it will just slowly process down and then it will um, start. You'll see some love hearts. As you can see, it does two at a time right away and they will go next to each other and they will start breeding and it will breed absolutely everything but bear in mind that if you leave this on eventually it may get a little bit overcrowding and things may start glitching out of the fences but from there how about we actually start getting some resources from these animals and that is with the animal rancher made with three latex a bucket pissy machine frame two gold gears and two shears this little thing is going to actually harvest some passive ingredients from our animals now it's not going to be things such as like leather but um, if we have this here, we've got another add-on here to just give it the same range upgrade. Uh, what we have here is actually our fluid output. So this is actually going to collect milk. And then we've got our regular output. And this is going to actually collect wool from our sheep. So this is going to slowly tick down. It takes 400 FE per use. And then as you see, we've got a little bit of milk there. So it will just sort of pick an animal to do first. It looks like it's going to do all the cows first, if it can. And then it's going to do the sheep. So there's no sort of uh, animation out here to actually know whether or not that things are working. There we go, one's just been sheared, and that will start collecting. Unfortunately, it doesn't collect anything from pigs because they need slaughtering. Now from here, there's not going to be too much more we can do when it comes to actually gathering resources unless we use the mob slaughter factory. We covered this a little while ago in our mob crusher episode way back, but what we want to make sure though is that we don't want to actually end up killing everything because obviously we want to breed some cows and for this we use a very special block and that is the animal baby separator made with two pieces of wheat a pity machine frame some plastic golden carrots again more purple dye and a gold gear this is going to be very cool at actually separating our mobs to a different pen so here we have our mob separator when you place it down what it will essentially do is take anything from the front that's a baby and teleport it to the back of it so this here is the back this here is the front there's no way of really telling it's a better about where you place it it needs a little bit of power now this can be configured you can actually separate the adults as well so if you just want to have babies in the front side and you want to move the adults you can do that just like that um, <laughs> but we want to move the babies i didn't really want them to be on this side but never mind <laughs> So all we're going to do is with our little feeder here, we'll turn this on. These guys will start getting breeded as you see any minute now. They're being bred, they're going to make a baby and then that's going to transport this to the other side just like so. So now this pen, you could have your mob slaughter factory just killing everything on this side, collecting leather, uh, wheat, lamb, not wheat, lamb and beef and then you'll know that you'll always have a constant supply of animals to actually create your drops. Now before we throw on a mob slaughter factory here, there's one more thing I want to show off here, and that is the sewer. The sewer is made with pity machine frames, some latex buckets, four bricks and an iron gear, and this is going to collect sewage from your animals. It has to be placed in the bottom here, it has a working area, we again have another add-on, and when I turn this on, it's literally just going to start collecting sewage passively over time. It takes 10 FE per tick, so it's very cheap and can be very quick. And it's going to slowly collect this sewage. As well as that, it will collect essence from these guys as well. Now, I believe this is to go underneath your actual um, feeder side here. Because what's going to happen is as, as your animals breed, they're going to obviously drop some experience. And this is going to be able to collect your experience. So you're probably going to want one on either side, both your killing side and your regular side, but it doesn't really matter. It's completely up to you. So now, as you can see, what I have here, I have a mob slaughter factory, and this is going to slowly start working. I do need to give it an add-on here. So let's do that very quickly. Let's give it a plus three, just like the rest. And this should start actually harming these mobs. There you go. One's died straight away, and two have died. And there we go. We've got a little bit of pink slime and some liquid meat from these guys. 
Now the clever ones of you may have noticed that when I mentioned the mob slaughter factory that was actually the wrong block to collect items as that is going to give us liquid meat and pink slime which is for something else which we have covered in the previous episode. We actually want the mob crusher in order to get what we want. So if you place loads of cows in here this is going to start working away. First we're going to need some more add-ons as always, endless add-ons we need. Let's place that in there and let's just to speed it up let's put some speed, efficiency and processing upgrades in here. And as you can see this is killing all the animals here. Um, as you can see though, which is really cool, it doesn't actually kill the babies, which is why you want the separator. So it only kills the adults, and this is collecting all ourselves some experience and our drops. So you may have heard in the last segment, my uh, bird was screaming like there was no tomorrow, so I've ended up having to re-record this. So what do we do with this sewage? For this we're going to need the sewage composter. This is going to require two pieces of plastic, a furnace, two pistons, petty machine frame, iron gears and some bricks. And the sewage composter is going to convert all of our sewage that we're collecting from our sewer and then it's going to turn it into fertilizer as you see here. Oh you've just got here an infinite uh, tank of sewage for ease but this is literally just um, making fertilizer and that is what we use to make our hydroponic bed from the previous episode. But besides that, when it comes to husbandry, that's about it. The only other thing we have is a bit more related to fishing. And this is with the marine fisher. This is made with a simple machine block, so we've gone up a tier now when it comes to machinery. Two buckets, a fishing rod, plastic, iron gears, and a piece of redstone. And this is simply going to start fishing for us. It needs to be in a minimum of a 3x3 three three amount of water, and it has to be one deep. I reckon it actually has a face underneath it, because if you look at it, that's our working area underneath. If you right click on it, it does have a show working area, but for whatever reason, for me, I believe it is bugged. So here we just have it powered, and this is just going to start fishing some things. As you can see, it comes, it gives us things that aren't just going to be fish related. We can get boots, rotten flesh, trip wires, enchanted books, all sorts of things that are in the vanilla Minecraft loot tables. And if any mods add anything extra, you're going to get all that stuff here. But for now, guys, that is going to be everything when it comes to husbandry. It's going to be a little bit shorter episode than it is compared to the other ones, but this has been a lot of fun. If this video helps you out in any way, shape or form, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. It will really help me out and ring the bell button to stay notified when these videos go live. Next time, I think we're going to cover a little bit more about how you get things like ether gas and then maybe some of the miscellaneous blocks you can get inside of this before we get into real massive power generation. But until next time, guys, take care.